Um, I, I think usually the work, I, I tend to really kind of grapple with the place I, I live. Like I'm, I've always been really interested, like when you go to Venice, you see the, the Venetians, they lived in Venice. You'll see a, an a image in the painting and you look out the window and you see the pillar with the lion that's in the painting. And so I've always thought of, of taking as a subject, you know, the place I'm in, the place, place I live. So that's why I called it home. Well, the commission was for the uh, Multnomah County Courthouse, and the theme was Multnomah County Land and Water. So my idea was I was going to go out on scouts, which I call them, um, where I would go and explore the county, and I would take photos, I would do drawings, and I'd come back into my studio and create really like a portrait of the, of the, uh, of the county, which is, in its shape, it's a long rectangle. And so when I started this piece, lockdown happened. So I couldn't do this uh, scouting, which I normally would do. So what I did was I had to work from what I had sources already. So uh, drawings I had, computer, lots of photos for the computer. And I just went through and I tried through all the photos I've collected in my computer to find anything that I thought was Multnomah County. And I really just started at the left and went to the bottom. And my initial idea was I would edit out of this large group the 24 paintings that would go into the uh, courthouse. But when I finished this, as I was looking at it, I didn't really want to just kind of amputate it and pull it apart because it sort of started to mean something to me, you know, the being isolated at home. So, you know, the, it has very, there's a few lone figures in this, but really it's about being alone and encountering the landscape. And so I did another set for the courthouse and some are repeats of the imagery and some are new. And by that point, uh, Michelle and I went out to uh, Oxbow Park because that was what I was sort of missing was the middle of the county. And so we did, there was a day we found out that the, the, the city parks were open. So we took an, an outing and the middle of the piece in the courthouse has that part of the county. Uh, I think the first two are Tryon State Park, then we get into the gorge, and then Skyline Boulevard up topped with the roads, and then uh, the overflow lakes at the, where the Willamette meets the Columbia. Um, again, the gorge waterfall, and uh, this second to the last on the top is from Washington Park, and then uh, Kelly Point. So it goes like that. There's some more gorge things. There's some things that are made up completely. Um, so it's a mix. There's Sovies Island in the fog, the, the canal there, um, uh, the slough of Sovies Island in the fog. And uh, so, yeah, there, there are, some are specific places and some are imaginary places that, that remind, you know, things I made up. That was again, uh, Michelle and I went down to visit uh, my mom and it was a sunny day. So we could be outside behind the house at the beach. And uh, on the way back, we drove Highway 53, which has a real significance for me because that's where I first painted a clear cut, um, was on this highway. So I always take it, it's just really windy, not very long, but it's quite spectacular. And um, I was a passenger on that ride because Michelle was driving. And so I just was randomly shooting pictures with my camera and then just pieced together this tippy feeling of being driven along a windy road. And so it was a beautiful day, just amazing. you know, a lot of these things just strike me, you know, just visually strike me. And um, I had, it, this was in, uh, it was coming back from Young's River, from Astoria. Along Young's River, there's a big grove of alders. And I just love the eyes on the trees against 
the bark. So it, it had a, like an abstract quality to me that I really liked. Like a, um, so I could kind of throw a deep space, but at the same time have a frontal kind of these blobs of eyes of the trees. So it was that kind of idea that really drew, drew me to them. Those were like blues songs, like High Water Rising, you know, uh, uh, like a Disasters and, and Darkness. They were, that's what they were. And I don't remember, there, I don't remember when I painted them. Uh, I don't remember, it just developed that way. You know, I just followed this idea of like a blues song of, you know, those High Water Rising, and these kind of songs about trouble. Blind Willie Johnson, or you know, this kind of thing. So, um, these were the tail end of these series that I did. That I don't think I haven't shown many of them. There, um, I was interested in, in um, uh, objects or people within a ground. So there was no angle, there was no horizon. So there's a few that still have that, like the, really particularly the the one with the pylons. But the idea that you were in a, something that didn't have angles that was a ground. And so, um, yeah, I did a group of figures, about, I think, six paintings that had, um, you know, no horizon lines and no perspective in them in, other than the dimension of the figures or the objects that were kind of set in relief against them. So that was the last little group I did in that series. You know, I recently did an um, archive of, of, you know, year by year, everything I could find of mine. And there's things that come around like a um, spiral. You come by the same point from another angle. And there was a whole period where I was doing these windows where you're inside looking out. And some of them were impossible views and some were views that, that could be true. Um, this was a place we came upon, up, upon in the, on the Columbia Plateau somewhere I can't remember exactly where we were, maybe Grass Valley, no, would it be? I can't remember. But there was just this ruined church alone, nothing near it. And uh, so it was, you know, it just had maybe my Catholic upbringing, I don't know, but I just, it called to me. And so we were inside this thing, and I sort of thought also that I'm playing with the idea of, you know, um, religion, nature, these, these kind of ideas. Um, so it, it ties to the windows. That, I, that I've done, returned to, and this other idea, so. Yeah, the, the painting encroachment is, is um, that painting, I've done some paintings where I've had um, I grew up in Northwest Portland, so um, um, up Cornell Road, they put in Forest Heights, which is where that painting is, is loosely based on. And so, you know, just one day driving up Cornell Road from the, you know, west side, I couldn't believe it. Just this whole forest that I had grown up with was just packed with houses. So that was the first time I saw this image. And so I thought at some point I'll go deal with this image. And then um, another time I was out uh, near, I had some dental procedure at a place out by St. Vincent's Hospital. And again, houses packed in or with kind of like just around, you know, bits of nature surrounding them, but just densely packed. And so this was, just been thinking about this image. And um, I think I was going through some source material that I had, boxes of source material, and I found a photo from I think it was either the Oregonian or the Tribune or someplace of Forest Heights being constructed. And so I took this initial painting and this has really changed from uh, the original photo. The trees are much grander. Um, the, the whole bottom third of the painting is made up. And so um, it's just this idea of uh, these ho this housing kind of almost like eating, you know, it's like an eating nature. And so it's something I've dealt with a lot, you know, our relationship to the natural world and how a lot of times it's a, it's a constructed 
idea and construct it. That is the burn in the gorge. Um, that's Herman Creek. And uh, they finally, you know, that had that really intense fire in the gorge. And so um, they opened up the trails finally, and Michelle and I went, on, went up there, and it was uh, unbelievable because be just scorched. And then if you had turned your head just a quarter like this, it'd be a completely intact forest. So, or there'd be a single tree burned and everything around it untouched. It was a very strange, and then huge areas burned. So it was um, a very eerie encounter um, to, to be there, and the light was just really strange. And um, so again, it was it was an encounter that I felt compelled to paint, I guess.